We want to talk about who could potentially be next for Grant. And Alan, I know you were throwing some ideas out yep. there. But uh, yeah, what would you do with it? I, I mean, I think just because of that dominant performance, yeah. as we said, sometimes you don't take the guy's spot. He took that spot and then some. I yeah. mean, I think he's in the top 10. I love that Jalen uh, Jalen and Hooker yep. are fighting next weekend. So as you mentioned, KB, the time frame works out mm -hmm. great. Both guys will then have another two months. So I would love to see the winner of that fight take him on. I know, you know, that's a big step, but you just don't, you don't dominate somebody as good as Isma Gulov that, that much, that much dominance, and then not get a big name after that. Yeah, you know, I would love to see uh, Dawson be challenged a bit in the wrestling department see, because it, it's, he's, he's really good with it. And, and I think that when, when I see him, well, Sarukian, I, I would say Sarukian, but I'm thinking more of a, Mateusz Gamrot. I'm thinking Gamrot. I think Gamrot would be a really good test because, you know, if he's going to be in the conversation of being with those guys in upper echelon of the 155 weight class that are dominant in their grappling position, let's put up against one. Well, that's not bad. Benoit Saint-Denis called out Gamrot as well. We'll get to that in a little bit. But Everybody's those, those are options. But I like what you're saying, Rashad, because, you know, you, you kind of want to see what happens if you put two wrestlers together. Will it become a striking match? And then I want, because I want to see his whole game. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's Absolutely. what I want to see. It's like, we know you're so good at the ground. I kind of want to see the rest of the stuff. Well, yeah. I felt like we saw some sprinkles we of did. striking. I'm not saying we haven't, but right, you know. Right, right. But in this fight against somebody as dangerous on the feet as Magulov, he was holding his own for a while. I mean, he was landing some good shots. Shots. It was just, as, one, as soon as he found that takedown, it was like he got him down. He put it, he locked his legs up, he got into the position, and there was no escaping it. By the way, that that body lock on the back, how he kept, we talked about how he kept switching, switching, switching. That was that was reminiscent after watching the Fight Pass invitation over the weekend with some yeah. of the best grapplers in the world. That's how they do it. They put the body lock in when they switch sides. They have flexibility on both hips right there. They can continue locking it in, and that's why he's been able to hold the, the back for four minutes like he did in that first round. Okay. And, the, and the thing that was so impressive about him with that body lock is the fact that he's so sensitive with it. He understands at what point the, the, the lock is getting broken down, where he knows where to switch it. Sometimes you see people do the body lock and they try to switch it, but they they wait a little bit too long and it allows a, the person to get in position to actually beat the leg lock but he, he was very smart about when he felt it going he already knew it was time to switch well it is interesting though with Grant mentioning somebody like Benil who initially was a grappler whose hands you know got amazing so yeah there are a lot of challenges available for Grant let's talk about the main event though who do you think could be should be next for Sean Strickland now Sean Strickland. Let me look at my notes here. I mean, it's it's. it's I mean, like you said before, maybe the Drikas. I think I think. The Dr I mean, I feel like we're counting out Drikas, yeah. and a lot of people are just because how good and how proven Robert Whitaker is. But he, Sean said it himself. He feels like Robert Whitaker is going to run through Drikas, and if that is the case, I think that is the fight for him because I believe he does need one or two more fights. So Drikas, or maybe as we mentioned on the pre-show, uh, uh, um, Bohashinya mm -hmm. type guy, someone in that top five because he's ready. Yeah, I would say Paul Acosta. I think that one is, is something that would, you know, really uh, bring a lot of attention. It would be a good fight for him, and it would be a guy that, you know, really fits well into the style of, of Strickland, meaning the fact that it will be a fun fight to watch. I think it would be a really fun fight to watch. But, yeah, bohashin has got a fight coming up, too. And I, you know Sean would take Bohashin into the deep waters, too. Oh, so. yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.